The worst thing you can do with a modern wet cell battery, which is the common battery used in most vehicles, is to let it sit in a discharged condition for a long time. Now with all the lockdowns around the world, you may find indeed that your car may sit for quite an extended period of time. Your car battery is constantly discharging or going flat, albeit slowly, and this constant battery drain is primarily caused by things like your alarm system, which is constantly drawing power from your battery. Also things like central door locking are in a constant state of standby, just ready for that signal from your key fob to open the doors. So that also drains the battery. So the best way to get the maximum battery life is to charge your battery up at least every week if you're not using it. Ordinary wet cell batteries are designed for frequent use and deep current drawers like starting. The other type of common battery that you'll find mostly in things like boats are called deep cycle batteries, which can sit for much longer periods of time. However, for reasons I've just mentioned, they're not really ideal for cars. So first of all, here's the proper way to charge a battery. Now I used to occasionally hook up something like this um, between the um, poles of the battery when I charge the battery because that tends to desulfate the plates, giving you a bit longer life. And no, unfortunately, this isn't a sponsored video, but this is one of the best chargers I've found. It's a uh, trickle charger. This one's a 5 amp, but it does have the facility on there it has several different modes. One of the modes has a desulfation cycle in it as well. Uh, some people have even permanently mounted these in situ and just plugged them in once in a while. This battery in my 350Z was able to get very cheaply. And you'll see it has different modes. So you have car, recondition, or normally you just have it on car. For charging. Always of course make sure you connect the charger to the right terminals, red being positive always, typically black or blue for negative but never red or else you will damage the battery and likely the car as well so don't do that. If you have a charger like I just showed you I recommend you put that on triple charge until it's fully charged. You may even want to run it one cycle in the recondition mode if you have that on your charger like the one I just showed you. There's a kind of urban myth too that if you're storing a battery you should store it on a block of wood. That's kind of true in cold areas because cold is also the enemy of a battery's lifetime. But if you live in a hot climate like I do in Queensland, Australia, it's not usually an issue. I recommend once a year you put it on a charge anyway, even if it's in your car, just to trickle charge it up. It does help the life of the battery by all counts. So follow these tips and you'll get the maximum battery life out of your vehicle. If you found this helpful, you know the drill. Please do subscribe and if you're new to the channel, make sure you also click the little notification bell that you have to do now and click all so that you'll know the moment any new videos come up. And you can follow me in between videos on Instagram at Steve Mac Actor. Cheers and thanks once again for joining me. See you soon. Cheers.